this has been a long time coming. <laughs> Almost two months. But here goes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. And firstly, apologies for not vlogging anything in the last couple of months. It's, it's been a busy one, shall we just say. And I think on top of that, the last vlog that I did was us obviously fostering Nala. And she was with us, God bless her, for about 10 days before she had a funny turn and she actually passed away. So it's been really hard for me to pick up the camera and to vlog because the last video that I did was, you know, celebrating her coming to live with us and for us to look after her um, and find her a forever home, which we were actually close to doing in the short time that we had her. But I won't go into all of the details, but it seems as though what happened to her in the shelter with regards to the snake bite wasn't fully healed and the diagnosis was that she had internal bleeding which is really bizarre because she had no external injuries she was absolutely fine in the house it was just one afternoon she just started acting a bit funny she had an accident in the house which she had never done before took herself off to her crate and then within like half an hour she just started turning and i just knew that she was going and she passed away in my arms so it was a really really sad experience um, and the autopsy report says that she had internal bleeding and they can't tell us any more than that so obviously I've not been wanting to pick up the camera because of that um, and we haven't obviously fostered another animal since and we are still traveling and going to Texas so there's 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 loads to update you on but I need to just pick up the camera and just start talking and if you've been following me on Instagram you'll know what I've been up to it's just been a very, very busy couple of months. So I will just continue to vlog as the day progresses um, and just take you along and just get back into the habit of vlogging because I know that that's what you guys like. I don't have the advantage of having a videographer on standby. I don't employ someone else to do this. I do this all myself. Um, and when I'm really busy or I'm in my own head and I'm focused on what I'm doing, vlogging is often the last thing that I want to do. But I need to get back into it because there's lots to share. So I'm just in the office at the moment. It is Thursday the 29th of August. It's just gone 9 a.m. I am about to go and head to the gym and train my normal upper session, but I am currently on a mini cut and I am seven weeks into my mini cut. I checked in with my coach yesterday and in the six and a half weeks that I have been dieting, I've dropped, I think, just over seven kilo. So I'll insert some photos here so you can see the comparison from my heaviest off-season weight at like 84 kilo to 76.8, which I checked in yesterday with my coach. So things are moving in a progressive manner. Um, the diet isn't that hard. Maybe I'll do a, a full day of eating and show you guys what I'm eating on this mini cut. I've had a few diet changes in the last, or should I say, across three weeks i think by the time we got to week four we found a good set point and i've just been on those calories since week four my output is literally just steps only no cardio which is a big one for me um, when it comes to dieting um, i haven't done a single second of cardio since the start of this year and working with kuba which is just wild to me but um yeah all is going well really really super easy work has been busy so i'll catch you up on that a little bit later but i need to go and head to the gym and train um, I might film some bits and insert some clips here to show you how I'm training full upper. I am pleased with the progress that I've been making across this entire year, which is technically speaking my like solid off-season improvement phase. Um, I'm seeing the changes in my physique. I'm really happy with the muscle that I've developed. And this mini cut is just to pull off some body fat, refresh the body before going back up into a little push up and then potentially starting prep towards the end of this year. But let's go and train and I will catch you guys in a bit.
that is training all done and just parked up at home. I always have one of these post-workout on the drive home. This one is a Rise Fuel one, peach cobbler, incredible flavor, zero calories. And it does have 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, but it's the last caffeinated thing that I will have today. Like I have my coffee in the morning and then I always have some form of energy drink for the 40 to 45 minute drive home from the gym. Um, and those ones are zero calories. Whereas when I'm in like my off season on higher food, I'll have one that's got more calories in and not too fussed. And yeah, on a rest day, I will have a coconut milk latte, but I won't have one every day of the week now because I'm dieting and I just want to be a bit more consistent with it. Whereas when you're on higher food, you just, you throw one in any way you want. Um, and it's not really an issue, but for me, it's keeping everything strict. That training session was mega hard. All my training sessions are hard, but the goal in this mini cut phase is to maintain training performance, uphold as much as I can. And I would say over the last six weeks, everything has roughly stayed the same. Some of my bigger compound movements have come down in weight um, because I just don't have the leverage there. Like I'm seven kilo lighter, so I'm not gonna be able to push as much in the leg press, um, the pendulum squat, things like that. But this upper session was actually pretty decent um, and I've not really had to pull back on, on much in that. So um, yeah, I'm just a bit fried now as always, but it's just coming up to, or should I say just gone half past 12. I'll head indoors now. I'll put my next meal on in the air fryer and then all of my meals now will be at one, three, five and seven. I did have my post-workout meal at the gym. That's just my routine because I have breakfast at like quarter past eight. So by the time I kind of train at quarter past 10, half 10, I train for an hour, an hour and a half. Um, most of my sessions are about an hour and a half plus. It's probably only my push session on Monday, which is about an hour, an hour and 10. Um, yeah, I need to eat straight away, especially because I have such a long drive home. So post-workout was had. I need to go in now, put my next meal on. And whilst that's cooking in the air fryer, I go upstairs and attend to check-ins. And that's pretty much my normal routine. It hasn't changed in the last two months. Um, but I'm gonna go in now because I've turned the AC down to talk to you and it's really freaking hot. It's like 45 degrees right now, the car says. We are in August. So maybe that's another reason I didn't vlog for two months because it was bloody hot and we have been up to a lot like we had lots going on in July our wedding anniversary at the end of July we didn't do anything for it because Darren's on prep um, well we did do something for it but just nothing food wise and then his birthday in August on the 12th but yeah I'm procrastinating now <laughs> go inside put a meal on and then up the office for check-ins just gone 1 p.m. and this is my next meal which is just basically chicken potato and veg but every morning I prep all of this so I air fry my veg and that goes across three meals I create a chicken skewer which goes into the air fryer I pre-boil my potatoes and then I just whack them in there for like 25 minutes whilst I'm doing a check-in or two and then they're ready to go I just need to top them with a little bit of hot ketchup from Prozies I have <laughs> my dessert which is 50 grams of apple and the best bit the core good catch You love it, don't you? Here we are again, back in the office, and it is quarter to seven, and as predicted, I didn't pick up the camera again. But check-ins are all done. I've just sent off my final check-in to my client in the States. Um, I had two um, client catch-up calls, one onboarding call. It is a very busy time of year. Thursdays and Fridays, I always have client catch-up calls booked in as well and anybody new that's wanting to join my team. And obviously with it being August leading into September, September is a very busy month for coaching and it's also a time when I launch my Brain 8 program. Um, so there's always lots going on, um, especially with lead up to us traveling next week to Texas. But we are done and dusted. It's quarter to seven. I do need to shut the laptop off. I need to go and shower, get my pajamas, get my last meal, which is still my lovely bowl of baked oats. Um, it's just not as high as it was before. I think it was something up to like 75 or 80 grams. I can't remember what it was at its highest, but it's now 50. But I think tomorrow I will try and do a full day of eating. I will. I'll keep this vlog going. I'll vlog all the way through till Sunday. Um, and then maybe you'll get a bit of everything. But I'm going to close it off now because it is coming up to my downtime and my bedtime. And I'm very strict with that. So I will catch you guys tomorrow.
It has been quite the morning and that was quite a hard leg session as you can tell by the absolute state of me but um yeah the morning is super busy on Friday because I have my PT client who's back from her holidays so I'm in the gym at like half nine training her and then I'm training my leg session um but as I was halfway through that session I realized this is the last leg day that I'm doing in Dubai for a while because we fly to Texas next Wednesday um, I did try and show you my breakfast. It's 100 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of berries, whey. I do still have intra-workout carbs in my intra-drink. And my post-workout is 100 grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice, veg, and 100 grams of mixed berries. But you guys will notice that the last two days I've been in the car solo. Darren hasn't been training the last two days because he's been on full rest. Because he's not doing too good, to be honest. Um... <laughs> And hopefully by the time I post this, he will have announced it properly on Instagram. But that's probably another reason that I haven't vlogged in the last couple of t months. Because things with his prep weren't progressing as planned. And he was originally going to do the Texas Pro Show. We pushed it back and decided to do the two in September. The Heart of Texas and then San Antonio, which are literally back to back. And by the time we'd booked flights, accommodation, car, everything... He realised when he went to register for the show that the Heart of Texas is a Masters only for Classic Physique. It's not open, which he obviously he can't do because he's not over 40. So we were like, OK, it would just be the San Antonio show. So we're like, that's fine. We can just have two weeks in Texas. It'll be fun. We'll make a trip of it. And then literally earlier this week, he checked in and he was at his lightest weight ever, like 222.5 pounds, well below his cap of 227 um but he wasn't looking his best and he looked a little bit inflamed um so his coach gave him full rest gave him a little bit of extra food by no means was it a lot of food but it did not sit well and he was massively even more inflamed the next day up like over a kilo um digestion was off everything was just not in a good place and it just made no sense um and i think this has been coming for a while i think his body is just fatigued from being on prep for such a long time like he's been in shape since well he started dieting end of october last year for the arnold's in march and then has pretty much stayed in shape since then till now like end of august and i think his body has just had enough um so he got blood work done and there are some really concerning things so i think he's made the decision to actually pull out doing the show in san antonio so I literally, after training today, I went straight to the pharmacy. I picked him up some antibiotics. Thankfully in this country, you can do that here. You don't have to get prescription from the doctor. Um, so he's got a protocol in place to try and get his health back on track. But it looks like we'll be going to Texas for holiday for two weeks instead. So more on that later, but it's later than my normal time home. It's just coming up to half past one and Fridays is a very busy day for me for check-ins. So I'm gonna whack that meal in the air fryer make a start on check-ins, have that chicken and potato meal, carry on with check-ins and hopefully pick up the camera a little bit later. Um, I doubt Darren's going to want to come on the vlog and talk about stuff, but maybe if we vlog in Texas, he will. Um, but yeah, I'll try and show you some more meals a bit later, but I guess now you can kind of understand why things have not been a smooth sailing and I've not been in the right place to kind of pick up the camera for a lot of reasons and just wanted to focus on supporting him in his prep he's literally been checking in daily for the last four weeks um and just focus on my mini cut and obviously my girls who are competing soon as well and business like that all takes precedence over picking up the camera but anyhow we will anyhow anyhow <laughs> i'll just pick it up in bits and pieces and i'll catch you guys in a bit when your client comes back from austria with all of the goods Hands down, the best sauerkraut ever, and it's got bacon bits in. So you definitely cannot find this in um, Dubai. So I'll be adding this to my next meal, which you guys saw yesterday. And get this, the calories for it, it's like 36 calories for like 100 grams, because it's basically sauerkraut with bacon flavouring in. But you're definitely not having any. Absolutely not. Just coming up to quarter past five, I didn't show you my other meal which is meal number four which has changed from beef mince rice veggies um to prawns and veggies but it's prawns and veggies so and i tend to cook them fresh on the day that's the only thing i don't really meal prep obviously the veggies are already cooked 
Um, but yeah, prawns cooked fresh are much nicer. And I'm just now about to have meal number five, which is my homemade sushi wraps. And it's basically 100 grams of shredded chicken with some additional fillings wrapped in two nori wraps. And they're pretty freaking substantial. Like, that's a decent size. Um, and it's dripped all over me. But what I have in there is 100 grams of shredded chicken, which I buy from the deli counter. So it's literally just roast chicken shredded. And then I put in a small cucumber, which I grate um, a little bit of the curry sauce from Prozies and then a little bit of lemon juice. So maybe I put too much lemon juice, which is why it's dripping. But it's really, really nice. And that's my meal five. And to be honest with you, yes, I get a little bit hungrier at this kind of time in the day because obviously my carb meals are less and less because I'm dieting. But I'm so busy with work. I'm literally just like, right, it's five o'clock. Shit, I need to eat. I need to get onto the next thing I've got to do. And then I just look forward to having some downtime in the evening and eating my baked oats, which is lovely. So yeah, I need to finish off Friday check-ins. Fridays is one of my busiest days for check-ins. So is Sundays. Um, I don't have check-ins tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to vlog a little bit more tomorrow. And then I've got calls from 5.30 till 6.30 today. So hopefully she'll be out of the office before seven and all check-ins will be done as well. Um, but yeah, I did just sit down and have a little chat with hubby and I'll update you guys properly on that tomorrow. But um, yeah, I need to finish off work and I will just keep this vlog rolling. <laughs> Saturday morning just gone 10 a.m. It is a little bit windy but very very hot this morning. Just walking into the gym for my last training session of the week and this hair is definitely going to go up but looking forward to getting this done. Last session of the week, day off work, very busy day today. Uh, probably won't film anything in the gym but I will pick up and show you what I get up to today because I've got a few appointments and some updates with hubby and our trip. So I forgot to mention that this morning I actually checked in again with my coach. He asked me to send through photos and my weight for this week and how I was feeling after everything that's been going on. Um, the feedback was to deload, de-volume session, um, pull back a little bit, which I did, and it felt good. And now I'm just gonna have my post-workout meal, head home, and then it's off to appointments all day. Home from the gym, showered, and to be honest, the drive home was a little bit stressful because in addition to devoluming my training session, my coach has asked me to get in an extra thousand calories today. And this will be the first food increase I've had in these seven plus weeks. I think I'm coming to the end of week seven. Yeah, coming up to the start of week eight. Um, and I was like, this is stressing me out because I've got all my meals prepared. I'm going out of the house literally in another hour, um, but I've moved a few things around. I'll show you what I'm getting in. But yes, I'm gonna be coming back from my last appointment at like half seven in the evening and getting in a thousand calorie meal, which is it's gonna be lots of fun. But I just have to give props to hubby for um, getting on Amazon and ordering. I think it's called a plate bowl, is it babe? What do you call it? A bowl plate? Like a flat plate or a flat bowl? A flat bowl or something. Basically, all your food goes in there and it's so much easier to eat and nothing slides off the side. So it means, you know, you can put cream of rice in there, I think they're really actually pasta bowls. I think they're like, you know, you go to an Italian restaurant, they're like a pasta bowl. Yeah, that actually does look like a pasta bowl. So meal three is my normal meal three. Meal four and five I'm gonna combine for meal four. And then I'll show you what I do after that. As soon as I put the camera up. You were sat in my seat, you know I'm going. Ow, don't scratch my legs. Milo, you're gonna keep daddy company. In the car again, and I've actually been in the car twice already. It's coming up to 5 p.m. Just about to go in for my lash appointment, but I have already had my nails done. I don't know if you saw them on the other clips, but they were absolute monstrosities. They were really, really long and just grubby and horrible and there's no way I'm going to Texas for two weeks without clean fresh looking nails and these lashes to be fair sorry the lighting is terrible here they're not bad I could probably go another two weeks but I'd rather have a fresh set but before my nail appointment I did have meal 
four and five combined, which is what my coach wanted me to do. So I did my prawns and my shredded chicken and the veg and just put it all together. And now for meal five, I'm actually gonna eat my baked oats in the car before I go to my lash appointment. And then I've got to get a thousand calories in before bed because that's what he wants. A thousand clean calories going in. So I've given some instructions to hubby and we shall see what he creates <laughs> and when I get home, which will probably be about like 7.30 or something. And you guys know all about these baked oats. I've put them in literally every single vlog since the start of this year. But yeah, eating them at 5 p.m. instead of in my pajamas and getting all full up and ready to go to bed is rather strange. But I am going to get my lashes done, so maybe I will eat this up and then have a nice nap when my eyes are closed and then wake up feeling hungry for another thousand calories or so. Finally home now. <laughs> eyebrows and lashes done. Whenever I go there, they always end up doing my eyebrows as well because they probably just look shocking. But I've come home to the most incredible thousand calorie meal. Just look at that. That is a whole stack of pancakes and all pretty decent macros. It's like 50 grams of oats, 50 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of whey and 100 grams of egg whites to make the mixture, 50 grams of mashed up banana and then on top and in between the layers there's another 20 grams of whey made into a paste, 50 grams of banana chopped on top. Um, there is dark chocolate in the pancakes and sprinkled on top of the pancakes and then 20 grams of peanut butter. So that roughly comes to just over 900 calories. And I would much prefer to get a thousand calories out of a meal like that than have a savory meal at half past eight at night. So I'm gonna tuck into this, but you best believe I gotta get a photo for the gram. Okay, so FYI, I am wearing the new Empowered Tea from Better Bodies, cropped cap sleeves. I have them in three colors. They are brand new, so get on the nice app. But I thought I would very quickly do a taste test here because I can't not. It's the first thing I've eaten off plan in like eight weeks and Darren made them. So it's not really off plan when your coach tells you to have it. Yeah, so he, he forced me to have a thousand calories today and I didn't want to. <laughs> but did Darren do the pancakes justice? I sent you the ingredients and the recipe and I said get it ready for me if you I'm back please. Let's see this is quite a stack. Okay, it's pretty dense. Did you overbake them? I don't know, let's see. Oh, I get a bit of everything. I think the trick is having mashed banana and the dark chocolate melted inside. A bit of peanut butter drizzling. I didn't put any syrup on top. Do I need syrup? Oh my God. <laughs> the flavor. It's very rich. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's the coffee caramel flavor oats. Oh my god. I think. And custard cream, cream rice, then caramel blonde. That's nuts. It's very stodgy. I think I'm gonna take this to the um the sofa and watch the rest of the show with you. Maybe put some syrup on to kind of wet it a bit but it's fucking beautiful, it's really good. <laughs> Look who's back in the land of the eating. <laughs> Darren's back to eating meals again, yay! <laughs> and my diet break continues. I just had a big bowl of cream of rice and I'm on a little bit more food again today. So just checked in again today and after having an extra thousand calories at about half past eight last night, and going to bed later than my normal time. That's normally when we go to bed, it's about half eight, isn't it? <laughs> um, I checked in today and I was just a pound up. Um, so I think Cuba kind of anticipated that, that would be the case as last night he sent me through um, my rest day meals for today, which are an increase in calories again. So I've got carbs in every single one of my meals today, which is very exciting. Normally I have no carbs in my breakfast. It's normally just blueberries, whey and nut butter. No carbs on the next meal, just prawns and veg. Then I have chicken and a little bit of potato. And then I have mince and rice, which is the same today. And then my last, uh, fifth meal, no carbs, and then oats before bed. So I've got carbs in every meal today. So diet break is going to continue. And it's another busy day. 
And as I mentioned before, Sunday's a busy day for check-in. So I'm going to crack on with the day. I'll pick you guys up a little bit later. Maybe show you some of my meals and work out <laughs> what the difference is in food. I haven't actually shared my macros. So I'll probably do that as well. And um, yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I reckon it's going to be about 30 minutes. What do you reckon, Coco? What do you reckon, Cokes? What do you reckon, Cokey? 30 minutes? <laughs> so it is 20 to 6. I'm plowing my way through check-ins and I've been in the office pretty much all day, but I thought I would show you my tracker because I keep talking about what's happening, but I'm not showing anything. So basically, he's mapped out four days rest until I travel. And for those of you that are interested, my diet, let's scroll across here. This is what I've been on as of week four. So my high day, substantially lower than my high day and my peak off season, probably about a thousand calories difference. And my current low day would be this. So that's what I'd be having on rest days. However, for my diet break, it's gone from like 1500 calories. For the next four days, I'm having this much, which is quite a lot of food. And I feel pretty full on it already. So that's the current situation. Four days rest, four days more food, lower steps. My step count, I didn't mention that, um, over the course of these like seven, eight weeks has gone from 12, gradually increased up to 16,000 steps, which probably to the average person sounds like a fuck ton of steps. But I clear 12 to 13 easy without trying with dog walks up and down the stairs, like at my gym, like it's a huge gym, so I get a lot of steps in there, just walking to and from machines. So for me to increase that gradually, it's just meant slightly longer walks. So in the morning, what I do is I take Milo on a long walk around the block. He likes a longer walk. He's a bit particular about where he does his business, so he takes a little time. Coco, she does a short walk around the park. And then once the dogs are done, I take my book and I go and read and walk around the whole block myself. So by the time I'm like showered, getting ready to go to the gym, I'm almost close to like 10,000 steps, so then another six on top of that, I can do without trying. I very rarely, if ever, have had to go out and do any more steps or done anything like pre or post workout. So steps for the next four days, he wants me to bring down to 8,000, which is gonna be a struggle because today is a rest day. And right now it is, as I said, quarter to six. Yeah, and I'm already on like <laughs> 12,000 steps. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I didn't even do a long walk this morning. I didn't even read my book. But anywho, I am um, going to finish off with check-ins. I do want to share some client wins at the minute because this is why I've been so busy. I've got a lot of girls on prep. Like if I look at the girls that are currently on prep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight girls are on prep at the minute. So I've got girls that are first time natural bikini athletes, wellness athletes, um, figure athletes for the first time as well. Um, girls are doing photo shoots, like there is a lot going on and they're making massive amounts of progress, like it's insane and things just need to be managed very, very carefully. So these girls are on like multiple check-ins per week, um, implementing additional rest, high days, things like this. So it's all go, go, go. And when we go to America, my routine will stay exactly the same in terms of check-ins. Like, yes, we're going on a two week holiday to Texas, but I'm still gonna be working. It just means I just flip my time around. So when I wake up in the morning at like 5 a.m., all of my check-ins will be through because I'm six hours ahead of the UK and obviously ahead of here in Dubai. Uh, sorry, six hours behind, which means when I wake up, they would have all checked in, Europe will check in, Dubai would have checked in. And as I'm going through those check-ins, then my American clients will start coming through. So it means I'll do all my check-ins before I probably have my first meal of the day and then go and train. But I think I'll probably pick up the camera and vlog for you guys whilst we are there. Definitely. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> Darren and I have both been busy since we knew he wasn't going to be competing. We've mapped our whole itinerary of what we're going to do for the two weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of road tripping. Texas is a huge state. It's pretty much a country in itself. Like, Texans are mad. And I'm really excited to go. Never, never been. Um, and we've also, well, I bought a scrapbook. And I also bought a little um, device that you can Bluetooth to your camera and you can actually print out like little Polaroids from your iPhone camera, which means I can put it into the scrapbook. And Darren's been busy too. He's bought one of those like stabilizer dongle thingies so that we can kind of like take cool videos and photos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be proper tourists. It's going to be fun. And I definitely want to buy some cowgirl boots. I've already picked out the pair that I want from Tecovas, I think it's called. 
but now I'm waffling. So I'm gonna close this video off here, definitely, because I wanna finish off check-ins and I've got a team call because it's Sunday and we've got a special team call today. It's like a fun Q&A team call where it's like spin the wheel, answer a question about your journey. Um, and I love our team calls because everybody jumps on and it's the right time frame for everybody because it's the afternoon in like Europe and the UK and it's obviously the morning for the girls in the States. So everyone jumps on, we all have a chat um, and it's good fun. But I'm gonna close off the video here. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed the update. I know it's been up, down, here, there, everywhere, all over the place, but that is what life is like for Bex at the minute. But mini cut is going strong, on a rest now, looking forward to a holiday. Definitely we'll pick the camera up when we head off to Texas. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below anything that you thought was fun, useful, insightful. Um, any tips on where to go in Texas, would highly appreciate it. I have got a very busy itinerary already, but let me know your favorite uh, part of Texas. If you're from there, I'm waffling now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.